Today I want to come to you with my makeup review of the Estee Lauder Futurist Hydro Rescue Moisturizing Makeup. <laughs> if you are interested in seeing this review, then keep on watching. If you've been with my channel any length of time, you know that I am a huge fan of Estee Lauder products. So when I saw that they came out with the Futurist Hydro Rescue Moisturizing Makeup, with a SPF of 45, I was all about it. Had to pick this up, wanted to try it and review it and just let you, know, you guys know what I thought about this foundation. So, let's just get into some of the details of this foundation, okay? The first thing is, this foundation is $45. It comes in 20 shades. So. 20 is okay. Hopefully they will expand and get more shades. So it does come in 20 shades. It says that it is medium to full coverage. So it's actually a buildable foundation. Um, it says that also, let's see, it's breathable skin loving makeup with a 12 hour radiant glow. So we're going to try this out for 12 hours just to see how this foundation Holds up okay so let's see it is now seven o'clock let me see it says the benefits flawless makeup with ser serious skin care so yes breathable it says lightweight flawless natural looking makeup moisturizing and it's dermatologist tested will not clog pores so I picked up the shade Bronze W1 because in my Estee Lauder regular double wear, I wear 5W1 as well. So I said, let me try this since they have it in this complexion. I know I am much lighter now because it's the winter and usually in the winter, I am, I get so light. I'm so ready for summer. <laughs> so okay, it comes in this little pump. It's like a little tube. Take this off, it's a little tube. Okay, so like I said, I picked up the shade Bronze. And I like the little pump right here. So it looks like it's a little runny. Okay, so it is, it's not thick. It has a, a liquidy type feel to it. So we're just gonna apply some to my skin. So it does, let's see. I'm gonna try this side. It is, you can tell that it is very light weight. which I like. I love lightweight foundations. So. so I'm going in with two pumps just because I really want to try this foundation. I really want to see how this foundation holds up. And if I apply a couple of coats, how does it look? And I like it so far. So far, it looks really, really good. I think the shade looks good as well. I can already see the radiance in this foundation already and I love it so so far with this foundation as I'm looking in the mirror I like the radiance that it gives already I usually do not apply foundation all the way up to my eyes but I did this time because I just want to see the overall how it the overall effect of this foundation so so far I like the glowiness the radiance of it now will it hold up for 12 hours is the key and still give that radiant glow, okay? Now, I love Estee Lauder products, so I'm really excited just to see what this foundation will do. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish my face, and I will come back to you, and we will start this review. We will start seeing what this foundation can do. So I'll be right back. Okay, guys, I am back. Okay, so far, this foundation feels so so good okay I'm looking at it now it still has the radiant glow it feels very lightweight it feels like I do not have anything on so I haven't <laughs> tested it as of yet you know but right now just the way my skin feels it feels so good so hydrated it is now let me see 
Wait a minute, I'm looking on my computer over here. It is now 7.37, okay? I wish I had my phone so I could show you. But it's 7.37 a.m. in the morning. So we're going to see how this foundation lasts throughout the day. Again, this foundation is $45. Right now, it says it has a SPF of 45, which is great. So I did not... I did not apply my sunscreen. Usually I use a tinted moisturizer and then apply my tinted moisturizer first and then apply my foundation, but I didn't do that since it already has a SPF in it of 45, which is so great. And I just did my makeup as usual and I set my foundation with the dewy set. I do not use powders because I have mature skin. <laughs> so 49 years old, mature skin. So powders do not work for me, especially in the winter. I can get away with it in you know the summer, but winter cannot. Just my setting spray by um, Anastasia Beverly Hill. And so yeah, we're gonna go and we're gonna see just how this foundation lasts throughout the day. So far, I really, really like the radiance. It, as you can see, I don't know if you can see it on camera, but it, it has a glow to it. A lot of people do not like a shine or a glow, or I do. I have dry skin, so I love all of that, okay? So anyway, I will see you all in a few. We're gonna do this 12 hour wear test, okay? All right. Check you out in a few. Okay, guys, I am out here walking my dog. It is now 10 hours, and my skin looks super good. I mean, I am very impressed with this foundation. My skin looks radiant, you know, even in the day. It, it really, really just looks <laughs> radiant. Where well, it's evening now, it's 5 11, so it's like 10 hours. And so we have two more hours for it to be 12 because I started around 7. So 7 a.m. and it's getting ready to be 7 p.m. So yes, I am so excited about this. It looks really, really, really nice. So still have that shine and sheen to it. So we'll see how it looks in the next few hours. <laughs> All right, I just want to check in with you guys. So yes, this is what we're looking like. It's super cold out here. It's like freezing out here <laughs> freezing in North Carolina so anyway guys let me stop rambling I'll see you back in a few okay guys I am back it is now this ring light getting in the way it is 9 17 okay so so that is 12, 13, 14 hours so far. And this is how my foundation looked. The only thing that I did reapply earlier today was my lipstick. That is it. I didn't touch up. I didn't hydrate. Use a, um, I didn't um, use a facial hydration mist. Nothing. This is it. I sprayed it, I told you today, with the dewy set. And that is it. Okay, so we're going to talk about it, all right? So... This says that it is a, this is the Futurist Hydra Rescue Moisturizing Makeup with a broad spectrum of SPF of 45, okay? So, today I didn't use my, my tinted moisturizer. I just used this because it has a moisture, um, SPF in it of 45, which is awesome. Okay, so also it comes in 20 shades and it has, it says, full coverage 24 hour radiance so it gives you a, a, a radiance look for up to 12 hours and it's 14 hours and I still look radiant my skin does my skin does not look dry it doesn't feel dry at all I am completely shocked I'm, I mean I am let's see I'm trying to see what else does it say about this foundation I do like that it comes with a little pump thing. So it's a tube, but it has a little pump on it, which is great. It is a little loose. It, it is buildable. So I did use about two pumps on here, on my face, just to really get a feel of how how it builds. It's, it is buildable. It doesn't, you know, sometimes when you put makeup on, when you try to build it to full coverage, it looks really heavy. Well, I don't even feel it. I only use two pumps again. And this, 
is 1.18 fluids at 1.18 fluid ounces and it's $45 per tube. So Estee Lauder foundation to me is really, really worth it. I picked up the shade 5W bronze because I'm in bronze and the double wear. So I just say, why not try the bronze in this Hydra, this Futurist Hydra Rescue? And it works. I think this is a good shade for the winter. Now I probably have to change it during the summer, but I like this foundation. I like this foundation a lot. I like the way my skin looks. I really like this foundation. Like this is really a great foundation for dry skin. If you have dry skin, bone dry skin like I do, this is a really, I really, really recommend this foundation. It looks good all day long. 14 hour wear test. I love this foundation. I love it. it, it and it does feel, it says, kind of to be moisturizing makeup and it does feel moisturizing. Now, I don't know if you have oily skin, but it says it's for all skin type, normal combination. You may need to just um, set your foundation with a powder if you have oily skin, but I think it will work for you as well. But I love it. I mean, I can't, I don't have any complaints about it at it all. It attach yourself to fine lines is what I like. Sometimes foundations can really get into, you know, just settle into the fine lines. This foundation does not, okay? I'm just looking at it. I mean, it it looks really good for 14 hours, so yeah. If you haven't tried this foundation, I suggest that you do try, you know, get a sample, go to Sephora, pick it up, pick up a sample, just to test it out, especially if you have dry skin. If you have dry skin, you're gonna you're going to love this this foundation. I'm telling you. Yeah, I, I like it. You can find a foundation that has a moisturizer that moisturizes your skin as you wear this foundation throughout the day. Absolutely. This, yes, yes. I'm gonna, I, yeah. This is going up here with my double wear, my Charlotte Tilbury. I'm telling you, this is it's going right up there. Anyway, guys, thank you so very much for tuning in. As always, for my new subscribers, welcome. You are now part of the Nisi J family. For my oldies and goodies, and you know who you are, thank you so much for just taking time out each and every time just to watch my videos. Also, I do have a website. If you want to check my website out, it is www.nisij.net. Go on over there and check out my website. I share a lot of my personal life, a lot of reviews on there as well. Check me out on Instagram and Twitter, Facebook. I'm on every social media, so go on over there and check me out. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for tuning in. Peace and love until next time. Bye. Bye.